Hello and welcome to a new video about the physical principles of electricity. Today we want to talk about work. Okay. We are using electricity to make something work. So there must be somehow a formula or a method how to calculate this electric, electric work. And I want to show you today why or how this is, this is working, working, how the work is working. <laughs> so let's imagine we have a piece of conductor, copper wire or whatever. That's it. We have at one point, we have one. And the other point, we have a different potential. Huh? Voltage is potential difference. So from here to here, we have a certain voltage. Here. And this shall be on the length L. So we have here the length L. And we have somewhere our charge. Somewhere our charge. Zack. This U is, is applying a force here. Here we have this Q. And now let's think, even if we know that in solid materials it's just the electrons which are wandering and the electrons are negative, but let's pretend this charge is moving from here to here. So we have a charge moving from here to here, so we have a certain current. Okay. So, what is work, actually? What is work? Work is physical huh? and work is the force. Multiplied by the length. Huh? The forces. So if we drive from here to here, we need to have this work. Huh? We, need, we need to have this work to bring this charge from here to here. That's the work. Huh? Or, or if the charge is traveling, it will bring this work. Now let's remember what is what was the force. The force was charge multiplied by the electric field. This was the force on at this particle. Hmm? So actually, we have here written Q multiplied by E multiplied by this L. Use this. Huh? And now, electrical field multiplied by the length. So if we have here the electrical field multiplied by the length, we have the, we have the voltage U. Huh? So this here is U. So actually, what is written here? Work is Q multiplied by U. This should not be a big surprise because we said, okay, U is the potential, the potential work per Coulomb. And if I multiply this by Coulomb, we have the work. We talked about that some videos ago. So let's have a look how Q and, and the current is, is combined. Yeah. So we said the current is Coulomb per second. So current I equals the charge, the traveling charge Q divided by time T. 
which is used. So actually, if we do here a translation, or Q equals current multiplied by the time T. Now I'm combining those two things and I'm getting the work equals and now I can multiplication, I don't really care about the order. I say it's u multiplied by i multiplied by the time t. Okay. And the unit is chu. One joule. So if I have a certain voltage and a certain current yeah, over the time t, I have work. I have electrical work. That's just like you know, there's no difference between mechanical and electrical work. I have a force, I have a distance, I multiply those two, uh, and I get work. So now I realized. Inside our piece of, of wire, <laughs> whatever, there is work done. Hmm? By the way, this is not a usual. Uh, you, I, we don't usually measure in joule in in electrics. Usually, we have this is one one watt second. Yeah, is also not. Yeah, what is usual? For instance, one kilowatt hour. This is a usual kilowatt hours. This is what you see on your counter when you pay have to pay the electricity kilowatt hours. Yeah, I've used in this year we have used five thousand seven hundred sixty-two kilowatt hours. This is the work you received, and this is what you pay. So, what is in 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 this example? In this example, what is this work doing here? I mean, we, we know work is energy, and energy just cannot be destroyed or generated. It just can be transformed. So in which energy? Here, this is like friction, and this thing is getting hot. It's generating heat. So this work will heat up this conductor. This is even an application. I don't know who of you will have this high technical element called a water boiler. This is exactly this. You turn something on, current is running through, it will heat up, and then you can make your tea. Tea time. Electric water boiler. Typical application. And now we know how we calculate it. Voltage multiplied by current and time work. Next time we will have a deeper look into this heating, electrical heating. How is this working? Yeah, how can we calculate how much work we have to use and so on? Uh, yeah, next time. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.